What's up guys, I'm the EFC Blogs back here today. Today Isha are facing Old Shop. The last time I uploaded was two weeks ago when it gets Bromley. But our last game was meant to get Barnet, but got re which got rescheduled on the 2nd of April. That's a Tuesday night game. But yeah, today's against Old Shot. Uh, they are sitting no, 20 seconds sitting 20 seconds in the league <laughs> yeah, with <laughs> and we are sitting ninth in the league, but we're two points off playoffs. And I'm not sure what how many points Old Shot on, but they're in relegation zone. So the Old Shot last win was, I think it was sorry, I don't remember? I think it was against Braintree. But that's a very long time. So our last win was against Bromley, one 0 Andrew Boyce, eightieth minute. Scenes that was honestly one one of the best away games this season, I believe. <laughs> Oh, he didn't go to the game. Nah. So he got, he's coming today. I reckon, I was estimate 250 people of us, of our yeah. fans, to be going. No surrender. I, I say, no. I reckon 250. But also, if we have to win today, because well, we, we still have got a game in hand. We may have two games in hand, because um, Salford are still playing Mason and FA Trophy, which that could mean we have. We can't face them when we face them. That's on the 24th of um, February, I believe it is. But um, just hopefully you can win today. I believe Paul McCann's back today, I believe. But I did see him on his Instagram yesterday, he had the cut in his face, but I don't think that would harm anything. Oh no, they're all I've just changed the seats, everyone to start move, so yeah, I'm with Jason now. So, yeah, I was just saying, today we have to win, because, I was like, Paul McCallum, I think he's starting, I believe. I don't know, he's doubtful. I think he's doubtful. He had a cut in his eye, which, I don't know, but we need him to start, because we struggle with him starting. He's our top goal scorer, and he's probably the only one best shot scoring goals, which we need goals, as we're on minus four goal difference, which, to get into the playoffs, we need positive goal difference. So, hopefully... I'm, my score position will be, I'll say, a 3-0 win. 2-1 um, yeah, loss. 2-1 loss. You guys are going to loss? Yeah. I think... Oh. I don't know. I think they'll be up for it more than that today. Because every time we take... Oh, we get this close to pairs, we shoot two steps back. It's like one step forward, two steps back. The last time we faced older shot was we lost with them 2-1. Um, which, obviously, I believe that's when Ben Shevens came into the in, first game into the squad. Obviously, it, it, it would take time for him to adjust the team, and now he's done it, which I think we will win today, because it's a, it's a massive win. Plus, the players are reckon they're up for it, as they probably won't push for playoffs. As I see them on, on social media saying, playoffs, playoffs, so hopefully we get there. Obviously, we're on the train, so we should get there about an hour's time. We're here now. Second time. No, the score predictions. One all, mate. One all. Two new East. Two new. Go on, score prediction, boys. Six one off, Kim. One all. Three one East. Three one. Two new East. Two new. Two one off, Sean.
One team in Hampshire. There's only one team in Hampshire. One team in Hampshire. You're not singing. You're not singing anymore. You're not singing anymore. You're not singing. You're not singing. You're not singing. You're not singing. You're not singing anymore.
start to be honest. So we scored early on and obviously then they scored after half time. Like as the second half approached, like they dominate like dominated the next ten minutes. Like when they scored we thought I thought I thought that okay this is gonna be a normal EC like how it used to be. We go up and then they score then they we conceded again and then we put put one back and then they would score again. But it didn't go that way. It went our way. We scored two two more goals to put the game to bed. Uh, obviously, the, the lineup was very strong. Obviously, it was Salford, um, front and back as normal each and every week. Um, in midfield it was Hollands, um, Joe Jones. Who's the other midfielder? Yates. Yates, and obviously the striker was also Williamson and McCallum. But obviously Ben Williamson came off like eight minutes into the game with an injury. So then he got replaced by Zabrowski. And then I see then in the second half, McCallum got taken off because he, he looked like he got knocked out. You see, but he looked like he got knocked out. But obviously I don't think he did. But then obviously as he he came out from injury, so he took him off, then Goban came on. And near the end of the game, Goban got injured, like Two injuries in one game, it's not really good. Also, I don't, I'm not sure how long Williams are out, neither. I'm not sure how um, Coburn's out, but hopefully they're not over long so we can get a fully fit squad. But today, game from the first whistle, obviously, it was. Um, obviously, we did a minute. Obviously, not minute, minute applause. Yeah, minute applause. So you, obviously, I didn't record it, but obviously, we, just, we were clapping for like so, some. God, I'm calling his name, but he, he's some old guy who worked like in a shop for older shop or something like that. But, he sounds he was some part of the club. Yeah, he? it's some part of the club, but yeah, I can say rest in peace. Um, well, I thought it was a minute of, like silence for um, Salah, which obviously you may you obviously know you should know that like, obviously signed McCarthy, but then obviously he died in the uh, in air, air, the airplane crash. But so it wasn't uh, so that you see it, what they announced it, but. So after that, we came out. We we struggled because I believe um, Ben Strevens tried a new tactic. That's what you yeah, that's what said in his interview. He we tried something new in the first twenty minutes, and then it didn't really go well. Yeah, it didn't work at all. We were struggling. I so they had like a few chances to score. All day. the striker who scored for Old Shot, he had like two or three good chances to score, but I, it, luckily he didn't manage to connect any of them. They went all off target. Obviously, um, <coughs> how did you score? Oh, yeah. uh, McCallum stole it basically on the top oh, yeah. on the bar line in the box, and then he cut the he just cuts it back, and Daniel is there to smash it in. Yeah, I I don't know what the def- older short defender was no. doing because he was having a good game as well before up to then. I, don't, I think it came out the goalkeeper, and then the goalkeeper played it back. Then the goalkeeper was tracking, like the defender was tracking back. And then as McCallum came running because. All, all, the whole fans were like come on push go towards him he got it managed to see the ball from him then I don't think he looked where he was no I don't even think he knew Daniel was there but it's still he just crossed it in thinking hoping someone was there and obviously Daniel Onans was there and I think that's his first goal for his club for the think, season yeah yeah. I, think I, I believe it is but I'm not top sure on top of my head but yeah that was a good finish to be honest the goalkeeper was and nowhere to be like to save that knowing so obviously then that was like a half time. That was basically that, that first half. Undeservedly led off the belt in that half. Yeah, time. that half. I don't think we should have lead. I think it should have been drawn like a one one in the first half. Uh, second half approaches uh, yet again. We wasn't the greatest. They dominated us. Our defense was sort of like open. 
I did play a couple of free balls against um, our defence, and then one of them managed, managed to go free ball, so he got cut down. And then the second time it happened, the day striker went through a goal, and obviously Reader Johnson was, was not going to catch up to him, and obviously the striker comes as close to the goal as he can, but with Luke Southwood coming out, but I don't know. If, I don't know if he hesitated. No, he didn't. He didn't. Hesitate, I don't think he hesitated. I think it just it just went under him, didn't it? it? Just went under him. Yeah, he, uh, the way he dived. They they deserved it. I can't say. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe. I think someone said that's the informed striker. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I, don't know. I think I think I heard someone say that. I'm not sure. Like, I think he's he scored, which I, I believe was a good a move, like good play for Marlon shot. And then from there, like as I said, I thought the game I was going to switch, go to old shot, and because mm-hmm. their fans started singing when they scored, like that, that's when the, the word the loudest there was the whole game. But then, of course, I didn't really see the goal because I see. Um, I think someone was saying also when Southampton conceded, I turned my head around to see what it was. The next day later, I see, I see everyone shouting. Like, come on, come on. I looked, I see someone just boot the ball in the back of the net. I was like, okay. Basically, I think Oldershot were in control. Uh, they, they were in control of the game at that stage. And I think I, I might have been the same defender. Or it might have been that wide. I think it got played across from Zabrowski to McCallum. And then he just took a touch and smashed it across the goal. Yeah, which, I don't uh, know if it was a volume or not, but it's a great finish. I, I, I believe I just saw the one shot. I think it was just a rolling his shot. It was a good power shot, bottom corner. And that put some at that stage it was sixteen goals for him, and of then, I say as McCallum scored, I'm not sure how, how many minutes it was between. I would say about two minutes, two, seventy and seventy seconds. Oh, two minutes! Oh, just before that, McCallum scored the second. I see you see the fa- our fans like with the McCallum on on fire and like dancing. Then I say I turn the camera from a free kick, and McCallum comes ahead of it. Like a little great, like he's going away from the goal. He's yeah. Not it looked like it was going with the keeper. Going over the bar, but yeah, he scored. But that, that made three one, didn't it? But he had a great chance to make it two 0 Yeah, and yeah, when yeah. the game was nil, um, one nil to us. Yes, yeah. second half. I think that was our only chance. He should have headed that. Like, it normally headed it, early on that second type half. of ball. Yeah, and it just. I, I, I think he got caught in two lines and then yeah. went over the bar. Oh, yeah, McCann also made it made it three one. That was basically the game done, and busted. Um, obviously, the one main, major important thing is the fans. Obviously, we're like right, we're like louder than the home home fans, which is quite, normally doesn't really happen normally. But obviously, I'm sure I'm struggling in the league. Of ECU, obviously, we'll fight the playoffs. I'm already loud. You see, most of my clips in this video are just gonna be mostly singing, which is pretty decent. And I don't often get obviously we don't often sing like away as not many of us go. Today was different. Like a lot of people went. And yeah, what do you think for the fans? Yeah, I think it was good. I think that's this, especially in the second half. I think it was, I think it was good. But yeah, also when we scored that second, the, the whole it changed everyone. Like everyone started singing. Even the people down down the front started singing. Which yeah, I hope it changes. Hopefully, when we play Braintree, uh, same s- situation because Braintree are like bottom. They did beat Salford, so and they're going to be flying off confidence. We got uh, going to not thinking it's going to be a walk in power. We've got to put a shift in, to get a result. Yeah, get a we beat them two one on airground, which I don't think it was. We've a, got to see it. I think it's an opportunity. We need to get our goal difference up. Yeah. So we've got to beat them by a good few goals, but then we've got to try and keep clean sheet. And we were crying out for a spare defender, and we've gone yeah. and got one in. We, he's well, not fit at the moment. He's not fit, so he, sh- he should, be, or according to what it said on Twitter, he should be training with our squad this, uh, next week, the start from Monday, I believe for what it said, because he's not with our squad at the moment, he's still with Bournemouth as recovering from injury. So I believe from mon- I believe Monday it should be coming to our squad. How long are you signing for? I think it's till the end of the season, on loan. His yeah. name's Sean Hobson. Yeah, it's on Bournemouth, so... Uh, like, he was on loan at Chester last season, I think. I'm not sure how many games played for Chester, mm-hmm. but obviously he's, I believe he's 20 years old, which at least another defender in our squad, which helps mm-hmm. our defence. Everyone gets like sent off or injured, so that's our new defender. Obviously, next week is obviously Braintree. Then the week after it is Salford at the moment. At the moment, but obviously they're playing Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. So we will get to know on Tuesday if the game's on or not. If not, the game probably must like to be played in March. 
It'll be on Tuesday night. Tuesday night, which I don't think none of our fans wants it on Tuesday night. Because it is a far journey. Mm. And not many people will go because obviously they finish work like late. late. So, yeah. That's that's today's video. It's a very long video. I'll tell you, I'm sorry. Like, I just gotta have to draw the clips in because it's it, longer than there. Yeah, it's like for from my point of view, like keeping these long like clips or singing is like a good memory for for me and also the EC fans. Because not many like it's quite hard to record like the fans. So if I don't record like clips of the fans singing, like the, today's like atmosphere won't be as great as it would have been if I didn't record any of the yeah, you clips. Really remember it, no. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully next coming week, next week we obviously come go like think of mentality not an easy win because every time we face a low burst, we our mentality I believe it is are oh, we gonna beat them easily? Then somehow we just lose or we take a nick a draw. Like, I'm happy to do, but I don't know. We just need the draw. Mm-hmm. But yeah, hopefully I I'll, I'll give an update when let you know Salford. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to reach a thousand, but I'm nearly on 800. I appreciate if you do subscribe, and hopefully, see you next Saturday. And if you're still watching the video now, then yeah, fair play. Yeah, fair play. This is a very long video, so yeah, I'll see you next week. Oh, he did set up the spit, you see?